Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within, and we are here with the sixth day of a godly blessing. Supreme God Father has got a message for us. Since all of us are looking for freedom from bondages, there are such subtle bondages that we don't even recognize them, and we keep on cribbing about them, crying about them, complaining about them. So God says there is a method for everything. So let's see what does Baba want to say over here. What is his guidance and direction for all of us in the heading? Baba says, May you become free from all bondages and experience liberation and liberation in life. Liberation means salvation also. And liberation in life means to feel as if you are in heaven on earth right now because of peace of mind and contentment and happiness and bliss and so many other qualities. So God says, with the treasure of knowledge. For that, the right knowledge or wisdom is required for feeling liberated in life and free from all bondages. So the explanation goes like this. <clears throat> the treasure of the jewels of knowledge is the most elevated treasure. Spiritual knowledge is also known as the jewels of knowledge. Only at this time, you can experience liberation and liberation in life with the treasure. A knowledgeable soul is one who finishes all reasons for sorrow and peacelessness and cuts all the strings of the many bondages. So a knowledgeable soul is not just somebody who has got spiritual knowledge but hasn't applied it, isn't using it for the purpose of feeling liberated from all bondages. We get into bondages because of lack of understanding of which values, which virtues, which qualities to use at the right time, at the right moment and not end up using vices or negative qualities which lead us to into bondages in relationships, in finances and many other things, even with the physical body. So God says, if you are a knowledgeable soul, then you will be one who will finish all the reasons for sorrow and peacelessness and cuts all the strings of the many bondages and thereby experiences liberation and liberation in life. We can get into a bondage with somebody by quarreling with that person, by shouting or screaming, by scolding that person and we end up getting what? We end up getting, instead of accumulating blessings, we accumulate curses. So if somebody curses you because of you shouting or screaming or scolding that person, then that is also a bondage. There are so many various varieties of bondages. Subtle bondages can be attachment to people, attachment to things, attachment to outcomes also. I have given this instruction. It should be done like this in my family. It should be done like this in my business. They should follow me in this job. And that is also a bondage. And if it doesn't happen, then it upsets me. And peacelessness comes in. And that also becomes a reason for not feeling liberated. So attachment to even outcomes. So God says, to be constantly free from wasteful thoughts. Wasteful thoughts would be thinking what bad can happen. What worst can happen. Or who can do it. Or why it will happen. These are all into wasteful thinking. What ifs are also wasteful thinking. What if I wouldn't have done this? What if I sh he would have wouldn't have said something like this? What if I had done something different? So these are also wasteful thoughts. Sinful thoughts. I wish I could take revenge from that person. I wish I could show that person his place or her place. That is sinful thinking. I'll show it to this person that I'll do better than him. Competitive, jealous thinking. And then, this is mine. I'll take it no matter what. Even if I have to go across and I have to do something bad to somebody else. Or even if I have to do something completely sinful. I'll do it, but I'll get my thing. I'll get my property back. I'll get my money back. I'll get my funds back. I'll get what I deserve. And I don't care about anything. 
these are also sinful thinking so god says if you got these ways of thinking wasteful thoughts then you are still in such a heavy bondage in your life then liberation is far 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 away so what do we need to do we need to think opposite of these thoughts and sinful actions are also leading us to bondages you thought you spoke about it and if you act upon these negative impure thoughts then they become sinful thoughts and then more bondages then it becomes a karma and that karma has a repercussion what we so so shall we reap and what we give out it will come back to us so that also becomes a bondage and then we are like when am i going to come out of this god says cut off that bondage by changing your thoughts purifying your thoughts purifying your words and then automatically your actions will start getting purified so then baba says so god says sinful thoughts and sinful actions is the stage of experiencing liberation and liberation in life to be constantly free from again wishful thoughts sinful thoughts and sinful actions is the stage of experiencing liberation and liberation in life when we are free from these ways negative ways and pure ways then automatically this present world itself will feel as if we are liberated from all bondages we'll feel lighter and we'll feel liberated and like that means the world will feel like it's heaven on earth for us at this very moment even if financially you're not so well to do even if physically your physical body is not so healthy but still if the mind is healthy the soul is pure and powerful within then it's heaven away for you so with this om shanti om shanti